gratitude, for you have nearly released me. My name is Sirius. I trust that from your explorations, you've become convinced that my wicked brother Agnar is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here, imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are, or how you came to this island, but I assume you must at least know something of the books. It was father who was a master of the books. He wrote hundreds of them, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room, on this island named Mist, that he housed most of these books. But such a mist. By now, you have surely discovered that Agnar has burnt you to the most of these books. Why? Our father was always watchful of our exploration, we grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to these books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Unsupervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the missed ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure from the conquest and destruction of the other ages. It was horrific. This thirst for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity to it. He had completely destroyed all of the missed ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akhenaten's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. To discover the truth, our father embarked on one final journey. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way, leaving me an innocent victim. But now, you are here to release me. Listen carefully. You must find one more page, and I will be forever free. There is a book on the shelves in this library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It is the last book on the middle shelf. Find it. This book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158. Recreate the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me, and I will finally be released. And able to reward you, of course. Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. It chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another one. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also will be in prison forever. Our father gave us the same warning long ago. I suggest you find his advice. Go now. Soon go. to me. <laughs> Cirrus, my wicked brother. You did not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you again. He is a liar. <laughs> Do not be persuaded by his evil lies. <laughs> Do not release him. He killed my father. <laughs> he will kill you. <laughs> but be 
began when my brother Cyrus began to lust for riches. <laughs> he stole from the ages of mist. He hoarded up riches for himself. My father, father slept away his watchfulness. My sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. King of the ages of mist, he said. <laughs> he began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother. <laughs> I hated him. And then, and then Cyrus began to destroy the ages of mist. He burned their forests. He tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants. He completely destroyed all but four of the ages. <laughs> of course, I had to warn my father. And when I, I finally found him, there was Cyrus also talking cleverly with the lying tongue of a serpent. <laughs> He convinced Father that it was I who had destroyed the ages. He convinced Father that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder. And as Cyrus dealt the final blow, he tricked Father into believing that I was the murderer. But Cyrus did not deal as fast a blow as he had planned. And as Father died a slow death, he at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so, in dying, Father imprisoned us both. I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. I swear to you, what I say is the truth. Release me. You must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar and deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father's wrongful murder. Believe me. You must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It is the easiest to find. <laughs> Go to the bookshelf. That's in this library. On the far side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other burned books. This book is filled with patterns. Find pattern 158. <laughs> Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you to the last blue page. Remember, don't take the red page. Take only the blue page and return it quickly to me. Oh, and do not touch the green book. It is a clever trap to imprison those who have not been warned. <laughs> Do not be tempted, for you will rot and die imprisoned as I am. I tell you, if you follow my instructions, it will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. Go. <laughs> Who the devil are you? 
Don't come here to Donnie, not yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Uh, where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atris. I feel you've met my sons, Cirrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island in my library. My library. Oh, it contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books. Many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to entrap over-greedy explorers that might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. <sighs> my sons, Cirrus and Akinar. We had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged for access to those books, and of course, I denied them. Oh, they devised a plan, an evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had, had progressed. Their own mother, they used their own mother Oh, my dear Catherine, to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I could return to Mist, except they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. Take my warning seriously. <sighs> Welcome to Dunny. You and I will live here forever.
How do you feel, my friend? <laughs> and what have we here? Perhaps the pages you worked so hard for. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Perhaps you've seen the world from my point of view. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> serious, serious. <laughs> Someone will rescue you someday! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, 